Is time travel possible? We can definitely travel into the future by moving faster relative to everybody else. The tricky part comes if you want to go into the past. And that's really dangerous. Because if you go back and prevent your parents from meeting each other, then you will never be born to go back in time to prevent your parents from meeting each other. But what if we could actually travel back in time and fix a few things? Prevent certain things from happening and change the course of history. This thought has captured the fixation of many people around the world. Especially the movie makers. Many movies and TV shows have been produced with the theme of time travel. Time travelers going back in time, messing up with the timeline and changing the future. Some major historical events and their effects on the world have repeatedly been the subject of such movies and TV shows. The assassination of President John F. Kennedy is one such event. The Kennedy assassination is viewed as a watershed moment, and so it has a symbolic significance attached to it. For science fiction creators, the genre hinges on the question, what if Kennedy had survived? What if someone had stepped in and taken out Lee Harvey Oswald? Maybe we wouldn't have gone to war in Vietnam. Maybe Martin Luther King Jr. would be alive, and maybe Bobby Kennedy would too. Would the world be a better place? Or worse? This very question inspires the season 2 of The Umbrella Academy, Netflix's popular series about a family of superheroes. The show revolves around the Hargreaves siblings, each of them with their own unique abilities. The second season of the show begins with the family hurtling back through time. In this particular instance, time travel is not an exact science, so most members of the crew were scattered individually in Dallas in the years preceding JFK's assassination. When one of the brothers, Diego, realizes where and when he landed in history, he becomes consumed with the idea of trying to save Kennedy. But Diego's brother, number five, arrives a few days after the assassination and finds himself in a Dallas heading toward nuclear destruction. In this parallel universe, the president is alive, but Kennedy's survival so altered the timeline that it brought on a Soviet invasion and eventually the apocalypse. And so, number five must jump back in time once again to ensure that the Kennedy assassination does indeed take place. This alternate disaster theme also runs through November 22, 63, a screen adaptation on Stephen King's novel of the same name, in which the efforts of protagonist Jay Epping, played by James Franco, to change history go wrong. He has the best of intentions when he travels through a portal back to the 60s, and does actually end up saving Kennedy. But once he travels back to the present, he learns that keeping Kennedy alive led to a disaster on an epic scale. So, he travels back once again and resets the past, letting Kennedy die. An episode of the British sci-fi series Red Dwarf, Ticka to Ride, features perhaps the most disturbing assassination-related premise. In it, the time-traveling crew inadvertently saves JFK from death, only to be impeached later on in his presidency. This results in the Mafia getting a stronghold on the administration and things getting really bad for the people. So, the crew decides to go back in time and get Kennedy assassinated. This time, they take Kennedy himself with them and persuade him to assassinate himself as the second shooter on the grassy knoll in order to preserve his legacy. In an episode of TV show Quantum Leap, scientist Sam Beckett leaps back in time and finds himself trapped in the body of Lee Harvey Oswald. Oswald's personality greatly affects Sam and at times, he feels absolutely helpless to stop himself from acting like him. In the end, 
Despite all his efforts, he is unable to stop Oswald from shooting at the president, so he switches to a secret service agent at the last moment. Still, unable to save Kennedy. Another TV show by the name of Timeless ventures into a similar premise in one of its episodes. A group of time travelers save a teenage JFK from a time-traveling assassin in 1934 and bring him to the year 2018. When Kennedy realizes what had happened, he gets freaked out. Cutting the long story short, one of the time travelers warns Kennedy from visiting Dallas in 1963, before taking him back to 1934. However, he is still unable to save Kennedy, as he still gets assassinated, but this time in Austin. Perhaps, one cannot change the course of time after all. In Profile in Silver, an episode of The Twilight Zone from the 1980s revival of the iconic sci-fi series, one of Kennedy's descendants living in the year 2172, travels back in time, eventually taking JFK's place at Dealey Plaza, and sending the president to the future in his own place. In another movie Running Against Time, a college professor travels back in time to save JFK with the hope of averting his own brother's death, who died in Vietnam. He couldn't save Kennedy and even gets framed as the assassin. After multiple attempts at saving JFK, he realizes that he can't stop the inevitable from happening and gives up on it. However, he does have a chat with his brother and somehow persuades him to not to go to Vietnam. So, not all was lost in the end. But not every reimagining of Kennedy's assassination in science fiction is quite so dark. Another film, Time Quest, envisions a world in which following a visit from a time traveler, JFK not only survives and serves out two terms, but his younger brother Bobby is also later elected president, and selects Martin Luther King Jr. as his vice president. All three men cheat death in that particular reimagining. All the bad things that are actually attributed to the Kennedy assassination are averted and all the good things that could have happened, if Kennedy lived, do happen. Kennedy pulls troops out of Vietnam. He smashes the CIA into a thousand pieces and gets rid of the Mafia and J. Edgar Hoover. This time traveler as savior model is clearly rooted in a nostalgia for the period before Kennedy's assassination. He was president during the peak of America's post-war prosperity. It was an era of optimism, excellent design, and innovation. You can see what happened after Kennedy's assassination. Vietnam. The assassinations of Martin Luther King Jr., Bobby Kennedy, and Malcolm X. Nixon administration and Watergate. When people think about making things right, it's obvious that you'd want to return to a time before all that. The Kennedy legacy is now an impossible amalgamation of history and myth, which keeps it central to pop culture. Jackie's bubblegum pink suit. The grassy knoll. That sleek blue-gray limousine turning the corner. Those images all remain a part of our cultural consciousness because they are continually visually referenced and because the assassination is still a part of our collective memory. But the addition of time travel is what allows for creativity in a story that's been told over and over again. There is only so much that can be done with the whole scenario in terms of retelling the story. Because, the aftermath of the assassination is so well documented. But perhaps, even after 60 years of the tragedy, there is still the desire to reimagine history of what could have been, had JFK lived.